Well, it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do a pick five, cut five of the MCU villains. Mm. Right? So Killmonger is obviously number one. I jumped ahead. Ultron number two. It's about to get crazy in here. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Are you ready? I don't think you're you're not ready for this. My list is actually good. Dude, I have to tell Let's you, this go. list is great. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to rate. Like, there's going to be a fight here tonight. There might be. This fucking guy. Uh, What's his name? I don't even remember. High evolution. High evolutionary. High evolutionary. Yo, evil. A yeah. psycho. Straight <laughs> up a psycho. Ever. Do we keep him or do we drop him? Next villain. Skull. Red Skull. Listen, Red Skull. you can't deny Red Skull. Red you can't Skull. deny him, especially because he showed up in Vormir. Yo, my man was just there. Yo, he That's was just there in the yeah, cape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, hey, okay, okay. you got to make a sacrifice, fam. You got to jump off right. the Right, we're going <laughs> to jump off this cliff or you're not. What are we doing? Right? Okay. okay. Next okay. villain. Ooh. Oh, it's the kingpin, baby. It's the kingpin, baby. He's about to tell you about all of yourselves. <laughs> Next villain. You ah, already know. Uh, Loki. But here's the thing. Is he still a villain? Yeah, yeah. This is, we're counting Loki mm. as a villain. Oh, he is. Loki's a villain. He yeah. is a Loki, villain. It's yeah. ultimately in the MCU, Loki but is a villain. But I feel like we have to remember a redemption arc on this. Yeah, You have fair. to remember it. That's Next, fair. But his, his story mm. was mostly villainous. Yeah, he's still mm -hmm. a villain. All right. Ne saying. Next villain. Ooh. The Green Goblin. I mean, I guess he count because of that. Norman Osborn. No way home. That hey. last Spider-Man. No way home. Do you know how much I sacrificed? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on, man. Okay. Oh, there he is. This, this, is, <laughs> this is about to get real. The man oh, looking at the legend himself. Conqueror, baby. So we're looking at the, the Kang. As, not, as, not, a, as an not MCU. Not he who remains. It's Kang. It's as an Kang. MCU right. villain. As an MCU okay. villain. Kang the Conqueror. As Kang. Kang. So not as he who remains, not who. I mean, you guys tell me, would you prefer to do it as all Honestly, versions? Honestly, I Kang? think it would be more fun to do it as he who remains. And could, all of it. No, we, like, we like could do incorporate as, his yeah. whole right. his oh, whole being. The right? whole body Kang, of work. Okay. Kangness. The whole Just body Kang. of work. The whole body of work. Just okay. Kang. Next. Hell Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Look at Leah. This is not that easy, is it? No. This is not that easy, bro. I'm telling you. Right. I finally made one that's going to get everybody. Right. And just in case you wanted some more bullshit, there he is. <laughs> it's the man himself. Uh, the man uh, himself, baby. All right. There the guy is. right there. Okay. okay. Good luck cutting five. Let's see. <laughs> man plans a retirement. Fuck. Mm -hmm. This is not that easy. All right. No, so not. this is a... A cut five and a pick Damn. five. Uh, who I got, I got who leaves? You got Damn. yours? I got, I got that mine. quick, huh? I got mine. Who leaves and who stays? Huh. I got mine. Okay, interesting. Oh, mm. shit. I'm going to give you all a minute. Let me let me know in the comments. Dude. Like, well, who, who's leaving and who's staying? Aaron, you put together a great list. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Fantastic. Yeah. This, yeah. This, 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 list this is good. actually a very controversial list. I just want to give you a heads up. This list was very different. I probably dropped three people who were on here that I was like, that's really not that great. Then I substituted them. So it was, it was pretty good though. But you know, I, I think I look at these, th this list and I'm like, damn, this is not easy. I got my five. You got your five. I, I, I know my, I think I know my five. It's a little, it's a little controversial. Mm. It's a little controversial. I'm actually going to let you go first. You're going to let me go first? I'm going to let you go first because you made this list and you've been thinking about it for yeah, a while. You, you started this yeah, you, problem. You actually started it. You got to break the ice. I, the, see, the problem is, though, I'm going to be labeled a homer, but it's fine because of who my like my favorite characters are. It's going to yeah, come out. Fine. All, right. Go ahead, go for All it. right. I'm going to do it. In, I think it sounds good. Oh, wait, should it. I try so, and like um, log who does what? Hold on. Let me. Um, we can try if you want. Wait, give me two seconds. We'll try. We'll try and get a, um, a, a consensus of who. All right. Go ahead, Aaron. OK, so I'm going to start at the beginning. Um, in my opinion, I don't know that anybody's going to top him in the MCU unless they're written correctly. It's got to be fucking Barney fucking nine chins. It's got to be Thanos. <laughs> All right, so Th <laughs> Thanos stays. <laughs> Thanos, Thanos, Thanos stays. Damn. Thanos stays. He's the fucking man. His whole arc was fucking crazy. It was two phases of MCU. Mm -hmm. Got to do it. Um, my first cut. My first cut is going to be. Oh God, it's it's going to be it's going to be Ultron. I Ultron is fucking crazy, 
but I didn't love how the MCU did him personally. That's just me. I, Ultron is a crazy fucking villain, and I think in the you comics know, his you know, his, right. his, his depth, depth is it, right? valid. Depth is no, you're crazy. valid. You valid. But the MCU could have done him a little bit better. That's just my opinion. A lot. Fucking just just my opinion because I've seen some of the comics right. that he's in, and he's sadistic. Right. Yeah. So like, I, I think it just could have been done way better. My second keep is gonna be um, <laughs> it's gonna be Loki. Because you guys know how I feel about Loki. I just, his arc, the arc is crazy. Loki, you know, you guys know how I feel about Thor. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, and I just felt like the whole way along, Loki was stringing you. Am I a good guy? Am I a bad guy? I'm just the trickster. I'm here to fuck shit up. Like, I'm, you're never going to know what my next move is. I love that element about him. Um, my next cut is going to be Red Skull. And the reason why is because for as pivotal as he was in Endgame, uh, well, Infinity War slash Endgame, um, I liked what they did with him in Captain America, but I thought we could have got a little bit more depth to him personally. 100%. That's just me. Could have got a little bit more depth because, again, in the comics, Red Skull is crazy. He's a crazy adversary of Captain America. Yep. And I think the movies didn't quite do him as much justice as I would have liked. Mm. Um, my third keep, y'all are gonna be surprised by this. My third keep is fucking Eric Killmonger. I, I, why is that surprising? I, that's not surprising, surprising at all. That surprising, Killmonger, bro? bro. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't care what anybody has to say out there about Black Panther because that movie gets some hate here and there. The Ooh, way they fuck? did Killmonger in Black Panther was fucking nuts. I like great. It, it, you could take it this way. In my opinion, he was a bad guy, but I understood his fucking purpose for what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I loved everything. And and plus, um, Michael B. Jordan, he just knocked that role out of the park. Mm -hmm. so it is what it is. My next cut, unfortunately, my next cut is gonna be. The high evolutionary. What the fuck I, are you? I, I, I just <laughs> I just yeah, like I loved him. What the fuck? I loved him. But I, I think I think I have this weird thing where I like I'm very iffy with the villains from the Guardian series in general. Um I thought the high still evolutionary still thinking about his fucking his daddy. That's what his problem yeah, is. Yeah, pretty pretty still much. About his fucking, no, 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 fucking, no. Listen still thinking about this motherfucker. I think he I think he knocked the role out of the park. But I think maybe it's a little recency bias for me. Like it's very new, and I think I want to see how Guardians like settles in the overwhelming MCU okay. before I can really put him on this list of great villains. Plus, we don't know if he's really dead or alive at this point. I'm assuming he's alive, but I don't know. He's alive. Yeah. We have him in the cage. <laughs> so you know, we'll see. Um, <laughs> this is where it gets fucking dicey for me, bro. I, I I I have to keep Hella. I have to. Wow. I have to keep really? Hella. I have to keep Hella. I have to. Wow. Because, okay. because listen to me. When this bitch caught that hammer, Oof. and just said, <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. I was, was like, crazy. Broke not the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, that yo, was crazy. Hella, Hella, bro. She almost fucking took Asgard, fam. She, she, fucking, she left that shit in shambles. She destroyed the whole army. She fucked shit up for one movie, albeit Marvel has a villain problem with one movie, but for yep. one movie, she fucked shit up. Just like I did. Um, well, you're my, gonna my, you're gonna do the you're gonna do the thing. My my next cut is Green Goblin. Wow, well, I would love to know I, why. I, because he's iconic. Because he's iconic, you're cutting him. Yeah, I just want to make that clear. No, I I because I, I have to because because I don't I don't love Green Goblin as much as other people do. Like yeah. I, I just I think he's a cool character and. Uh, no, you don't. Right, William, William Defoe. Defoe. William, Defoe, William Defoe. Yeah, you liar. <laughs> By the way, William Defoe. I, nobody else could have played Green Goblin. Just right. saying, that's the guy. Right, you're still, literally, he's, he's you're literally has... making a case to keep him. I know, Go I know, ahead. but I have to. Wait, wait, but, wait, I, but I have. The to. problem is, he still hasn't played his role yet. Ex ex that's my point. Ex that is. Thank you. That's not his role. Green Goblin is not his role. You think so? Not his role. Really? He's gonna be in the. He needs to be in the DCU. You want him to be Joker. Ooh, I know you want the Joker. Would be he'll be he'll be a great Joker, but he'd be a great Joker. That would but be yeah, I like him as well. I understand. <clears throat> he'll be the smile that he has alone. He yeah. is a yeah. Joker. Yeah, he has that look. He, he, can, he, he can do the role. He, he has that look, but and he actually I, said it in a, on a on a on a whatever on a late show. He was like, "I'm glad that everybody wants me to play Joker, a psychopathic and a psychopathic murderer killer." And he just did the smile. I was like, "Oh, this motherfucker's there." Right, but I just want to make it clear: the Green Goblin is is a psych. Psychotic murdering killer, yes. not like the Joker. Uh, not like yeah, the Joker. I, mean, I agree with you, but like you're not going to say he's not that. People, but but there's, I mean, there's levels to this shit. Yeah, but I, I understand. Think, I Green Goblin is down here. Joker's. I I yeah, get. You. But we're talking about MCU, okay? He's perfect right, but in like, the role dude, of Green Goblin for the MCU. Perfect. All right. 
So if I'm, I have to finish this list, and obviously you do. I'm, I'm either gonna pick. So it's between Kang and Kingpin, huh? Oh, it sure yeah. is. But I, I know what you, I know what you want to do, is, but I know what you're going to do. I know what you want is, to do, but really I know what you're choice? going to do. Pick Kingpin. My, that, my, that really yo, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. My issue is, I didn't get enough Jonathan Majors as Kang. I got him mm. as he who remains. That's my issue right now. No, your issue is Kang got beat by Ants. He he did. He did. You first know what? Way, Thank first, you. First Thank you. He, uh, they, they, they no, it's not your turn. It's no, not your turn. You can say, you can, you can, <laughs> listen, listen it's to me. It's not your turn. Listen to me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen, listen to me. This is the most, this is the most difficult cut for me. And it's the reason not why your turn. is because <sighs> Kang the Conqueror is going to have such an impact moving forward if Marvel continues to use him, albeit it's not Jonathan Majors anymore. So I would kind of be going on future, but I'm also going on future with Kingpin. Here's my thing. Kingpin is going to run the street level we're about to see. As far as Daredevil, Spider-Man, Punisher, all the bullshit. Punisher. So you know what? It's Kingpin over Kang for me. That's That's fucking it's Kingpin no. over Kang for me. I love Kang. I feel bad for Jonathan Majors because it's mm -hmm. fucking the whole thing is bullshit. That's a whole other topic. We already discussed it in nauseum. But either way, I'm going with Kingpin over Kang. Wow. So that's my list. My list is Thanos, wow. Hela, Loki, Killmonger, Kingpin. Wow. Boom. You think you know people? That's bro. right. You know people. <laughs> <laughs> actually, right. you know what? Uh, wait, it, Torian, you're you're up, Torian. I actually want to. We got to include you in this. What, okay. what is the uh, what is the um, what is the Torian? Uh... I'm gonna go with okay. Um, as far as keep goes, I'm gonna definitely keep Killmonger. Like, I mean, why would you not? I mean, definitely Thanks. one of the best villains that the MCU has seen. I can't tell you how many times I heard lines quoted by him from people who saw that movie so many times and how many times people said, in their opinion, Killmonger was better than T'Challa. Like, I heard that so many times. And some people didn't even see Killmonger. In some, yeah, in some, in some aspects, some people didn't even see Killmonger as the villain. Like, yep. really, they saw him more as, like, an anti-hero more than anything exactly. rather than just a straight-up villain. Yo, yeah. let me tell you something. When this man walked in the throne room, pulled down his lip, and said, hey, auntie, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, he didn't just, hey, auntie, her, right? That's not what he just did. That's fucking... That shit, Mo that's queen mother. That's, that I was like, he, he <laughs> hey, auntie her. I was like, oh no. And then did it again. And then remember, and then remember, he did it again at the Oscars last year. Uh -huh. uh, when when Angela Bassett lost, yeah, she got she yeah. got snubbed. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, yeah he, he did it again. Yeah. That, that was a fucking snub. That wasn't even it's another a video for another snub. time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, we oh no, it was not, we already talked about it. <laughs> um, my next keep would have to be the High Evolutionary. I said oh. this is one of the best villains that Guardians had. When I walked out of that theater after seeing this performance, I said, this guy is a straight-up psycho. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it seems like any little thing will tick him off. Like, it, it doesn't even matter. Something can be just slightly out of place, and he will just go off on you and just end you. Like, it's, it's, it's like no reasoning with him at all. And that's the kind of villain that you want. Someone that thinks they're doing something for the greater good, which he thought he was doing, but you know it's wrong. And that's the type of person you don't come back from. Like, that's it's no rhyme or reason with them. A true villain is someone, in my opinion, who doesn't really have a redemption arc like that, in my honest opinion. So I think y'all pretty much know where I'm going with who's going to get cut, but we'll get there. Um, my next keep would definitely have to be Thanos. I mean, come on. This man snapped his fingers one time and wiped out half of existence for how many years? And he thought he was, again, <laughs> thought he was doing something for the greater good. He thought he was doing something right. And yeah, had them right. literally had literally had the world literally living living in squalor for years, while you had other people banished to the shadow realm for the years, and they, and it felt like they was there for like five <laughs> minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the yeah. next person I'm keeping um, would be Green Goblin. You know, Green Goblin yes. is like one like he Willem. First off, Willem Dafoe literally. Is like a phenomenal actor. Yeah, really has been William Defoe is the truth. When I saw that he was in this, when I first saw Spider Man, like way back when, and saw him in this role, I was like, "Wow, this is just crazy!" How he's able to like really command your attention with that role, and he actually made you believe that this guy was a straight up menace. And I just, I just liked his performance, and then of course, you know, bringing him back. For no way home, and he's literally like picking right back where he left off with the same kind of character. It's like you thought he kind of 
changed a little bit, but then that little switch happened and he turned right back into it. And that's another thing. I like how he's able to go in between looking timid and scared and then jumping right back into being psychotic. Like he, like even down to the facial expressions that he makes was even phenomenal as well. So I think that is, so was that five? Was that five? Mm -hmm. You got High Evolution, Willing to Fall, uh, Killmonger, Thanos. You need one more. One more. Okay, one more. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to go with. Who was the last one? No, yeah, yes, pick one more. I'm gonna have to go. I, you know what? I'm gonna have to go with Hella. Mm. Definitely another. Uh, definitely. Hell is a keep. Hell is a keep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with Hella as you know, um, a keep for me. Um, seeing her do what she did, you know, with the swords and how all of that, like how she was tossing the swords around and everything. And she always made sure to let you know what her title was. Any chance she got, she says, I'm the goddess of death. And, of after death. She, and whenever she did, and whenever she let you know she was the goddess of death, she showed you why she was the goddess of death. After, after she said that, she started slaying and killing whole armies of people like it was nothing for her without breaking a nail. So or breaking a sweat, mm -hmm. so definitely got to keep her. So my keep, like I said, uh, Killmonger, High Evolutionary, Thanos, Green Goblin, and Hella. Mm -hmm. So the of course that yeah. just leaves you know, I'm leaving Ultron. Like Aaron said, it wasn't the Ultron we wanted in the MCU, but we know that he's a very menacing character. Um, Red Skull, it is what it is. In my honest opinion. Um, I really liked his appearance when he showed up in in fin was it Infinity War? Yeah, yeah and, and yep. when he showed up when he showed up in Infinity War and how like that how that cape was and it wasn't just a regular cape it was like it was like blowing in the wind and it was fading into the wind so I liked that <laughs> ominous look too. I I just want to know. I just want to know what him and Cap discussed at the end of Endgame when Cap went back. <laughs> I just yeah. want to know how that interaction went. That's what I want to know. He probably yeah. pulled up. Was I'm like, still waiting. "Sup, fam?" I'm still, I'm still, I'm still I like waiting it. for Budapest. Okay, I want to know what the fuck happened in Budapest. Okay, tell me that. Well, listen. Uh, mm -hmm. At the end of at the end of the day, I don't know what happened in Budapest, but you know what? <laughs> I happened Stupid. to know when my knees hurt and they're moist. <laughs> And the condensation rises. Stupid, oh, right? Lord. The condensation oh, rises Lord. from my knees. We ain't done this in a I minute, baby. Oh, wow. I, I, I haven't done this in a minute. My you, knees, so I, I did leg day today, right? So my <laughs> knees are killing me, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But yet again, they feel moist, ripe, and ready because, oh, ladies God. and gentlemen, coming in to the podcast, hey, <laughs> Charles from Speak <laughs> On It, motherfucking <laughs> podcast. <laughs> 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 Oh, what's up? <laughs> How are you doing? We haven't seen you in a minute. And uh, listen, congratulations, man. I mean, gosh, two years. Wow. I mean, Thank when you, you grew up, dude, crazy, oh, when man. You so started. Good, right? Yep. Yo. It, it's amazing. Yo. It's amazing. Hey. But you guys, man, you're killing it. You know, you're opening up the space wide. And 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 just making so many, yeah, that's exactly what she said. Hey, yo, hey, hey. oh my gosh, I was so waiting. Hard. on Voice is hey. definitely rising here. We got let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, you definitely congrats, congrats to the man cave, man. If you guys are not, um, you know, connected to these guys, I'm, I'm telling you, missing out. You know what I mean? So, Charles, thank you, definitely. man. We appreciate, appreciate that. You, All right, so listen, yeah, Charles, real quick, we're gonna put you mm -hmm. on the spot right now. So listen, sure. I don't know if you see what's on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. You have to cut five villains and take five villains. Your favorite mm. villains and the villains that you don't need to see. What are your top mm. five and your bottom five? Wow. All right, Charles. Well, Charles, Charles, do me justice, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been well, missing you. <laughs> and I just, this, I just, I've been dealing with all this she hulk cake and all this. Shit I just, I, mean, <laughs> that I was up. actually just gonna say and just remind you, Titania or She Hulk is not on this not list. On list. So just wow. the creators of that She Hulk show should be on this list. Yeah. <laughs> the, wow. no, those are yeah, true villains. Right the most evil. Listen, all right. leave and She Hulk there, alone. All right, <laughs> She Hulk listen, is, is the shit. This is listen, it. top five, bottom five. Let's go. Top five, bottom five. Okay, so top five, definitely Killmonger. Definitely Killmonger. Um, just his presence, just his story, um, what he brought as far as like, he brought another level to what we call a supervillain. And 
he's one of those characters like a Magneto where you kind of can see his point of view. You know what I mean? So to me, um, a character that makes me think about things and understand where he's coming from, maybe he's going about it in a very, you know, um, vicious way, but you know, it's, it's going about it in a way that he feels that it's the only, you know, it's the right thing that, that should have been done in the first place. Um, and so I, I really love the way uh, Michael B. Jordan played that character. So definitely Killmonger has to be uh, top, one of the top five. Okay. Next, I will go with the Goblin, William Dafoe. <clears throat> and I'm a longtime Spider-Man fan. Uh, one of my favorite characters was the Green Goblin. And <laughs> in spite of the, ca the costume that he was given, I have to say that he acted <laughs> his way out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right, out of that costume. That Dude, that, that, that's you're the not, point, you that's the point I was about to bring up. <laughs> that was the point I was about to bring up. <laughs> However, but go ahead, Charles. I mean, I mean, but the fact that he, the way he was looking at, you know, the whole split personality thing, you know, him going insane, you know, some of the greatest lines, you know, we all choose who we choose, you know, all we all who we choose to be now choose. And it was like, like he has some of the greatest lines. You know what I mean? And he was yeah. wicked, man. He beat the mess out of Spider-Man. Really in that, You know what I mean? Like, you was worried. You was really, really worried. Like, I, I remember going to the movies to see that film, and everybody in the theater was just in silence because they was like, oh, I don't think he's going to make it, you know? Mm -hmm. But And Wim Dafoe was one of the few that actually lobbied for this character. So mm -hmm. he wasn't chosen. He actually wanted to do this character, so I give him props for that. Yep. You know, and this was early comic book. Uh, movies. So uh got to give it to my boy, William Defoe. Next on the list, it gets a little sketchy. <clears throat> Go ahead, man. Listen, you do what you got to do. That's right. It gets, it gets a little zone. sketchy. I do have to, I, I have to go with Thanos, obviously. Um, he's definitely one of the top five. Um, another character who you can understand his, you know, uh, you know, you can understand where he's coming from, you know, as far as the resources. I mean, it's kind of what we're dealing with right now. We don't have, <laughs> we know, resources and, and don't have enough food, don't have enough energy, don't have enough, a lot of things. And it's one of those things that it's it's always been about, you know, controlling the population. That's always been the thing. And, and just to raise that, raise it to that level and for us to think about, how sometimes some you know some people actually thought Thanos was was correct you know was something that he felt like hey let's get rid of you know half of the uh, half of the universe let's do it at random there's no you know nobody over another it's not a doctor over a plumber or a kid over a baby or whatever the case may be it was just at random um, again how he went about it obviously but um, he's definitely he was a threat he was a threat that we knew was coming and. He delivered a hundred percent when he showed up. So, got to give it to him. Um, next, <clears throat> uh, gotta say Kingpin. I gotta say Kingpin. Kingpin, we like it. Nice, I bro. We like it. We like it, man. You gotta like give it to him. Spite Echo. We like he, it. It's fine. No, I, no, bro, even yo, bro. He he don't don't want Oh. He, he did his thing in Echo. Don't don't, mm -hmm. don't give him don't give him twisted. He did his thing in Echo. Mm -hmm. He killed it. He kills it every time. Every time he's on screen, yeah. you don't want to look away. Yeah. Every time. Yo. And he delivers. The Kingpin is one of those characters. When I when when I read about him, and you and you know how it chase, mm -hmm. man. We when we read these comics back in the day, Kingpin was one of those problem type individuals that even though only thing that's missing, I wish they would show, is when he used to do these um, little demonstration fights with these ninjas and some of his men, and and some and some of them he would kill. You know what I mean? You know, but we know how dangerous the kingpin is. You know, he's definitely capable. You know, mm -hmm. and the only person that he's afraid of is Vanessa. Stan Lee said that. <laughs> that's yeah. it. <laughs> he's not afraid of nobody. Damn, you know, so damn, damn. Charles. Stop bringing up facts, bro. Stop. <laughs> That's the only person he's afraid of is Vanessa. Uh, last. Mm. Last, last, yeah, last, last. You, you got a hard one right now. <laughs> is it really that hard? Yes, it is. is. It, though? 
Yeah. It's, it's really not that hard. Yes, it is, is it though? Let's see. <laughs> I don't feel like it's that hard, but go ahead. We okay. got your back. We got your back. So I'm not going to say Loki because he, to me, has he's swayed back and forth as a character. So I'm not going to say he him as a villain. Um, <clears throat> Hella, I have to say, I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn between Hella and the um, <laughs> High let, Evolutionary. Let, let me because High Evolutionary yeah. was a was a vicious, evil something. Um, he wanted so to create dropping, the perfect are you society. Hella, Hella jacked shit up for one movie, man. She did. Hella, she really Hella did a did. thing. I she mean, really Hella did, did a thing. But it's she just did. the fact that the the. I, if I want to say evil. Yeah, high evolutionary. I gotta say high evolutionary. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. you're you're and, dropping Hella. Yeah, anybody that would do that, I, to I drop Hella. And who you uh, not to not teeth. Not teeth. Oh <laughs> Lord, you brought up teeth. Damn, Damn it. it. The whole chat will start crying now. Got Come on, man. Like people were people were crying in the theater for 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 Rocket and and Guardians. Rocket. So, evolution, high evolutionary. <laughs> I, and Red bro. Skull, I think he's a he's just he's he's just as evil. But we have yet to see that because we've only saw so him in that one Red, movie. Red Skull goes. Red Skull, Red Skull, Red Skull would go. But I mean, he's definitely an honorable mention because he's one of my favorite villains. Yeah, he's nice. And you know, but I have to give it to the High Evolutionary as far as just the the, the sadisticness of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The way he created those people and then he just annihilated them just for just uh, I'm just start over. I was like, "What?" You know, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, "Let's just destroy the town a, that I built." Yeah, like, so I'll, I'll just say based off of that, you know. So, but good, right. great list, guys. Great. List. What we told you, it's official. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nonstop, twenty four seven, three six.